Hello, forest friends. Ambie Nicole here, and I've got a quick impromptu video for you today. I was lucky, and for under $5, I got a ginormous thrift haul that I would like to share with you. It is honestly too good not to share, so we're going to go ahead and do this thing. I'm kind of at work right now, and I'm not looking my best, so you're not going to see my face really, but you will see everything I got. And my total was $4.85. There was a fill a bag for a dollar sale, and I just kind of grabbed everything in my size that I could find. I just grab some stuff even that I thought I could use for Halloween and stuff. So we'll get right into it. It was pretty crazy. See if you can see me here. First I got this top. It's a small, it was a part of the fill a bag for a dollar. All of this bag will be. It's just a Trixie. I don't know. It'll be good for work or interviews or whatever may come in life. I got this goofy little rip off Chanel top. I think I'm going to make something out of it. Maybe like a pillow or something. I'm not too sure. But it's going to be a DIY project of some sort. The ladies who were running the thrift store suggested that I get this dress. So I did. It was a part of the fill the bag for a dollar. So I figured you can't lose. It's by Love Heart Tees. It's a size five, but it does have a belt. I'm like a size zero or size one. So hopefully this belt will help it fit a little snugly on me. It looks like it would be okay. And this is a size medium, but I thought it was kind of cute. And if I could find a belt for it, it's just a little, I guess, um, tube dress. It has pockets. It's red. I don't know. It looks kind of vintage. I like it. I don't really have that much of a crazy, like, sense of style. I just kind of grab things that I think are cute regardless of what time period they are from. Oh, this one I am so excited about. I could not believe that this was an extra small it was a part of the fill a bag for a dollar sale. This is a BCBG generation extra small. And it's this really cute, like, um, I can't really tell if this is a brownish black or a grayish brownish black, but it's just a halter dress. I'm sorry about the lighting here. But yeah, this thing, I don't know, it's super cute and I'm super excited that I got this. I would have paid, you know, $5 for this thing, but I paid way under a dollar for it. So I'm very happy. This dress right here is the last item of the first fill a duck bag, or bleh, fill a bag for a dollar sale. It's a medium. It's got leather or pleather straps and a little detail there in the middle. It's just, you know, a medium length dress. I don't like wearing super short dresses or super long. Next fill a bag for a dollar. I got this um pink thing. It says it's a size small, but it looks a lot bigger than that to me. It looks pretty brand new. I like this detail on the back. Front's pretty cute. Got a little bit of sleevage there. Can wear that to work. Good deal. This right here, I'm going to be layering this, of course. It's just a little, it's got a little bit of a cap sleeve there, but it's a lacy over shirt thing. I'm going to put it over a tank top. Yeah, I'm really, I've never done a thrift haul, so I apologize that you can't really see what's going on here, but yeah. I just had to share. This is crazy. Already I have a giant stack of clothes, and this was like, what, the buck? And now we're getting into our second buck. This right here was a medium, but I didn't care because I loved how, like, boho this was. These are the sleeves. I love that up to the shoulder, it's lace detail, and from there, it is cotton. Got cute little ribbons there and this little crochet dealy here. Pretty cute. This was another, I guess, medium, but it was cute enough. I didn't care. This reminds me of the 90s, so I'm really digging it, but I feel like it'll look good on my, like, skinny shape. I don't know. But I love all the different stripes and how they still somehow kind of work together. I like the three-quarter sleeve in Florida. It's pretty helpful. Oh, and look on the sleeve right here. Some more of that other stripage from up there little button I love it 
And this is by, I guess, Robin Kay. Never heard of it, but I'm digging her style. The next one, this is just something by Guest Jeans. It's just a black top with very little sleevage and it's got lace detail on the side. I just, in Florida, I feel like I can never have enough tank tops. So I try to grab anything in my size pretty much, especially if they're solid colors. Can never go wrong. This here is an extra small by Lily White. And I don't know what it was about this. It's kind of plain Jane, but the back's really cute. This twisty situation here. Try to show you a flat way so you can see. I think it'll look cute. Lightweight and it's been so hot. I can use just lightweight anything at the moment. Here's another really just plain, I guess, no boundaries. So like Walmart tank top, but I liked that the stripes were sparkly. I feel like I can pull that off on just a regular day. And like I said, filling a bag for a dollar, you can't really go wrong. I went crazy. Last but not least, I have a medium size, which Abercrombie and Fitch always runs pretty small. So I figured I could rock this. Just some cute details on the top. I don't even know what to call that. I usually don't buy white because I'm notorious for spilling coffee and whatnot, but it was cute enough, cheap enough. I don't care. So that was it for the filling the bags for a dollar. I got pretty much everything that I thought would fit me and would work out for me. I got a pair of shorts here, just a plain old pair of shorts. The only zero in the whole place, so I scooped them up. Again, in Florida, I can use as much tank tops and shorts as I can possibly find, especially for cheap and in my size. Here's two really exciting things. These shoes here were on sale for a dollar. They were half off of two dollars in my size nine, which is rare that I can find. I don't know. They're pretty plain, but I like the wedge, the fake cork, and I'm digging this um, metallic woven sparkly whatever. I like it. I think it'll go with a lot of things. It could use some straps, but I'll be okay. Not bad for a dollar. And the most exciting find to me, and I have gotten lucky with this type of thing once before there. I will find doTERRA essential oils there occasionally, and this happens to be the one that I am out of and that I use the most. It is an almost entirely full bottle of oregano oil, and you cannot get a bottle like this for under, I think, $24, $28, and that's on wholesale prices. So... I am a wholesale member of doTERRA, but still, it was super exciting to find the exact oil that I needed, and I believe they charged me a dollar. So this was like the steal of the day. I am so freaking excited about this. I use oregano for everything. My boyfriend does as well. We will get a lot of use out of this bad boy. And this is the big size that they make, the 15 milliliter. Like I said, you have to pay about $30 for something like this typically. Yeah, I'd say pretty good day, pretty good day. Under $5, I am super stoked. Well, thank you all so much for watching, and hopefully if you enjoyed this video, you'll give me a thumbs up, and I'll know to share my next haul with you. Alrighty, Forest Friends, I love you guys so much, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!